In the last lecture, we discussed how to define these grids in Revit and save the model. Now, we will be discussing how to define the levels in Revit. By default, after selecting the construction template, in the start of the tutorials, we selected the construction template. So we have automatically got a set of predefined levels in this system. So we'll edit those levels by going to elevation view. Now you can see a list of grids elevation already present. Now we have to define the elevation as shown in the figure. First we have NGL, then level 1, then roof and their respective elevations are shown. So let's start with NGL. First we have to delete the predefined default levels in Revit. I'll be starting with 0 feet 0 inches. We can rename it as double clicking on it and call this as NGL that is natural ground level. Similarly our level 1 is at 8 feet 0 inches and click outside and similarly the roof is at 17 feet 6 inches. You can press enter or click outside. You can also add, edit the name of the level but since level 1 is already named in the view so we have to first delete the level 1 named view as it is causing a duplication. So we have to delete this default level 1 and now we can rename it as level 1. Since it is again coming in use, so the level 1 must be defined in somewhere else. And yes, it was defined. So I have deleted the level 1 view again. And now we have defined the level 1 as per our requirement. You can adjust the bubble location and lock it in the view. By this way, you can adjust the visibility of the level IDs. And similarly, you can stretch or expand the level icons or notations far away from the grids or near the grids. Similarly, if I adjust one of the level lines, then the rest of the level lines are automatically adjusted based on the one of the adjusted level lines. You can also change the scale of the view from here. In a similar manner, we change the scale of grids. Now let's say I have to define another level for the below footing. So you can take the footing below at a level of 5 feet. So now let's name it as bottom of footing. Since the text is quite large so we can make it a small by selecting the scale smaller in the view. You can also press the Z button or zigzag icon to unlock the location. You can also make the bubble available in the view on both ends. By selecting the tick mark option so you can see the location of the level on both the ends. You can also see the levels in the 3D view. You can notice that at one end we are seeing the levels highly extended while at the other end we are seeing the level quite shrinked. Let's adjust them in the west elevation. To make them look normal and identical in both. That is how we adjusted the level grid marks. Now you can go to a level by selecting in the 3D view and click on go to floor plan. Similarly, let's say I have to go to NGL. So I selected the NGL level and right click on the window and click on go to floor plan. 
you can also adjust the floor pan scale for a particular level by clicking on the working window and let's make it quarter inches now you can see the grid marks look quite appealing that is how we define revit levels in a project now you can also add the views if not available in the view templates you can see the floor plans have still named it as level 2 however we made the name as level 1 if you go to elevation view here we have name as level 1 which we just named and go to floor plan we see the name as level 2 so you can rename it as level 1 since we changed its name to level 1 in elevation view so you have to importantly change the name here as well so that it is identical in the elevation view as well as in properties